in this training, you might hear something uh, along the lines of, uh, you are perfect as you are. And what that means is all of your thoughts, emotions, sensations are perfect, left just as they are. There might be negative thoughts, for instance, in my experience, there was so many things, I had a whole list about my, my life and my experience that I needed to change or that I was looking to really, really uh, get out of my experience or adjust in my experience. There was a constant management of my thoughts and emotions and the sensations. And we simply term thoughts, emotions and sensations data. So a constant data processing was going on, efforting and seeking again and again for that next destination. And it looked in many, many different ways. Sometimes it looked like uh, seeking for that, that perfect relationship, seeking for that perfect uh, career or that next level, the next level of income, the next level of satisfaction, seeking for that next experience. And so when we are given the, the instruction or the, the support to see that we are perfect just as we are, there can be an immediate connection with complete relaxation in our everyday life. And that's how it was for me. Certainly there were things that I, I saw have to still change about me. There's certainly things that I saw, oh, it can't possibly stay the same. And certainly there were things in the world that I thought, actually, they, it's definitely not perfect. And it's not like we're now putting our hands over our eyes and saying, everything's perfect, everything's perfect, everything's perfect, everything's perfect, everything's perfect. <laughs> what it is, is we're getting a complete stability in mind. Knowing mind as it is. And so from there, that complete groundedness and stability, we can act and speak in the world in powerful ways. We can make direct changes in our lives and in the lives of others from that complete stability. But I noticed in my own life, if I didn't get that complete stability first, it was a total mess. And so knowing very directly in our experience that we are perfect just as we are is important. It means that we're not constantly managing all of these thoughts to be better, constantly managing all of the next description, the next appearance to be different, constantly chasing after mirage, after mirage, after mirage, looking, searching, finding, trying to find, <laughs> not finding. All of our thoughts, emotions and sensations can be likened to a mirage. They can be likened to a rainbow in space, appearing and vanishing naturally. And so constantly efforting to manage them, chase them, capture them. It's not something that we want to base our entire life on. It's not something that we want to base our reality on, our everyday life. When we come to the Balanced View Training, we are introduced to the nature of mind as clear and open like sky. And to know your mind directly, to know the nature of mind directly, right now, stop thinking. What remains? Really look, what remains when you stop thinking? There is clarity, alertness, this power to know. This power to know is always on. There's something about you that's always on when you're thinking and when you're not thinking. And so this is what we term open intelligence. This always on intelligence. 
And so this is what we're speaking about when we can allow everything to be as it is. And there's a simple practice in the Balanced View Training and that's to rely on short moments of open intelligence and repeat that many times until open intelligence is just obvious all the time. And so when we have those uncomfortable thoughts and descriptions again, maybe that's, there's an uncomfortable thought or, de or a description like, I, 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 I'm just not living up to my full potential. Everyone else is, seems to be doing it, but I, I'm just not living up to my full potential. I don't know what my strengths, gifts and talents are. That can be a really uncomfortable thought. I've had that many, 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 many times. And it can l lead me to staying inside um, an endless cycle of what am I doing wrong? Um, why me? Jealousy about everyone else. All of these descriptions. So th this is what happens when we emphasize all of the descriptions, all of the thoughts, the emotions and sensations. When we look to manage them rather than relying on a short moment of open intelligence. Just a simple short moment of open intelligence clarifies your experience, brings your experience into reality. It brings mind into just being just exactly as it is. And so we, we can relate to our mind more and more and very directly right now as open and clear like sky. And if you notice the sky, it has no scratches, has no faults, no damage. And so to know our mind as likened to sky, clear and open like sky, is very powerful. There we see that we are unfaltering, unflinching in everyday life, really unflinching in, in everyday life. Do you know those days where you, you wake up, this was my experience, I would wake up and I'd think, I really hope I don't have that thought today again, because it is so painful, so painful. And then even just the thought of that was like, oh, okay, now I'm having that thought. <laughs> and then all of the pain comes in. <laughs> Almost paralyzing, really. And then it's like a feedback loop, like that feedback you were hearing before, or I was hearing before, I don't know about you. Constant. What's the direct solution there? We need an immediate solution, something practical. And, and this is what short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, is. It's a direct response to those crippling thoughts, the ones that keep us stuck, trapped, limited in everyday life. So when you have something like that come up in your experience today, tomorrow, in the next moment, try it out. See how the nature of your mind is and all of your thoughts, emotions and sensations are perfect just as they are. Perfect left just as they are. That you are perfect just as you are. Sitting in your chair, having a negative thought, a positive thought, it doesn't matter. You are perfect as you are. Allowing everything to be as it is. Allowing your mind to be that flawless, vast expanse where nothing can harm it. Nothing can take it down, damage it. You don't have to get, work yourself up into that state, which is good. It's just how your mind actually is. And the way that we see that is we recognize that we can have all of these negative thoughts and they're inseparable from open intelligence. They like the color blue in the sky. And so recognizing that it, it is complete freedom, freedom in immediate perception. And it may in the beginning feel like there is uh, taking short moments is an action or there's someone that is needing to recognize open intelligence. 
someone that is then relying on open intelligence and there's a data stream that comes up and we, we recognize open intelligence. But more and more that those negative thoughts or the thoughts that we feel like we're efforting to recognize open intelligence with, they become inseparable from open intelligence and it's an instinctive knowing. So at the very moment that negative thought arises, it's an instinctive knowing that that negative thought is open intelligence and nothing needs to be done about it. No effort was ever needed. Not even the effort of, oh, I'm going to have to take a short moment now, if that feels like an effort. And so that's complete freedom, complete freedom in the immediacy of each perception. So as the next thought arises, recognize how it spontaneously releases, like the flight path of a bird in the sky, it leaves no trace. Like a line drawn in water, effortlessly resolves. That's the nature of each one of your thoughts, each one of your data streams.